Hello. So if you watched um, my recent, the most recent video be, before this one, I showed you some um, handmade watercolor paints from KJ Design by Karen. And they were mostly, I bought them to deal with backgrounds in my coloring. Backgrounds which I still do not enjoy. <laughs> That's my least favorite part of coloring anything is a background. So if you want to have a look at those, um, yeah, have have a look at the video because there were some uh, great um, watercolor um, watercolors uh, shown in that video. And today we will look at the another six that I've ordered from Art Spirits, and they are completely different because those are the paints and I just wanted to show you how beautifully packaged they arrived for Christmas. So let's, ooh, let's just rip it because of course we have to rip it open and look how incredibly cute. I've got lovely raspberry and pomegranate tea. Sweets, a little sticker, which is really lovely and let's leave it here the art spirits and the paints that um the, the watercolor paints that i ordered are the chorus glitter paints and i ordered most of those so mermaid dust disco dust rainbow dust Magic Fairy Dust and Mirror Dust, I'm sure I've ordered. So let's have a look at those. And those are not opaque. So they designed to kind of add sparkle to things. So the one I've um, ordered previously from KJ Design were kind of my background paints, while this one to add sparkle to colored pictures. So we've got rainbow dust, stardust, mermaid dust, of course that would be a mermaid dust, magic fairy dust, gold dust, and mirror dust. So I'm going to go away now and open them. <laughs> because I always struggle with opening anything and it's going to take ages. So we're going to cut that part out when I struggle with packaging. I will open them. I will activate them a little bit and we're going to get swatching. See you in a minute. Okay, so we are ready for swatching, I think. So I've got a little um, sheet of paper with uh, names of the watercolor paints. And I've got a little bit of black paper to see whether um, how they show up on a black paper. It's not the best black paper, it's quite thin, but that's what I've got. So are we going to use this one and see how they show up on a black paper? All right, so let's start uh, with Mermaid Dust. First one on the list. Obviously, those are coarse glitter paints, so they're not going to be opaque. They usually, I I uh, bought them for, to put the glaze over coloring to add a little sparkle. So that's a mermaid dust. Just the glitter glue is not is not my favorite medium to use, so I was very curious to see how the coarse glitter water colors will fare because I just I just don't enjoy using glitter glue. Oh, look how lovely and sparkly this one is! It really looks nice on the dark a dark um, background, isn't it? Okay, so we've got Mermaid Dust, which is kind of blue, green and purplish. Um, that will look lovely on like Mermaid.
mermaid's tail or something and this is on white background so pretty okay let me clean my brush and we've got now mirror dust which i can see in the pan is slightly finer maybe i just want to mix it well obviously they this type of paints takes longer to activate and it's slightly harder to mix but that's expected so we've got mirror dust and um, black background Okay, let's have a look at that one. Oh, lovely. Can you see it's it's tad finer, I think, maybe? Or maybe it's just me thinking. Oh, it's so pretty. It just sparkles in all sorts of colors. And on black, I think you'd be even better when it kind of dries up. I see the mermaid dust is slightly dried up now and it just looks so that's exactly what i was looking for to be fair i was looking at the the, the one that i kind of started the interest in those glitter paints was because i wanted something to put over uh, snow so i discovered that i quite like coloring snow but i wanted also not for all the snow that I colored, but for some pictures, I wanted a little bit of sparkle over it. And I just, I think I actually used glitter glue uh, stickles in icicle, I think. Again, I bought specially for that, the icicles um, stickles. I put it over snow in the uh, Matchstick Mouse Christmas that I colored. Um, and it's okay, but it kind of wasn't what I was looking for. I thought that I needed something else. It wasn't it wasn't my favorite, let's put it. It's okay, but it's not my favorite. Oh, this Stardust is spectacular. That might be exactly what, what needed for snow. And the other two, the next two, I think, that was I had in what I had in mind for snow. Oh, very pretty, see, on a white background, it's kind of fine silvery dust, really stardust, isn't it? Beautiful. And on black, so this one seems finer, probably could get it quite opaque if you, if you want it. That would be that would be perfect for snow. To be honest, all of them, uh, uh, all of them would be perfect for snow. So that's kind of what I wanted. So I'm really happy with them. So now we're gonna do rainbow dust, which should be sparkling in all sorts of colors. Very pretty, how pretty. It is all sorts of color sparkles. It's perfect. That'll be good for snow too. And and dark background. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it just really stands out on the black background look at that sparkle <laughs> so colorful so pretty 
Oh, I'm so happy. That is really cool. I like it. All right, we've got then the magic fairy dust now. So this is slightly from from the pan. It seems slightly more kind of greenish blue. Also really lovely, sparkly. <laughs> so pretty. Yeah, see, it's kind of more bluish green. So pretty. And on the dark background. Oh, it really stands out on the dark background. Oh, look at that. <laughs> beautiful i think you can see it better on the dark so i'm glad that we took some dark paper like i said it's not a watercolor paper so it's not ideal it's quite thin but still which is why you kind of you can see it takes socks in water and gold dust oh look at that one pretty Oops, this one dried up a bit. <clears throat> oh, look at that beautiful gold. Beautiful gold sparkle. Let's put some on the back. I'll put some on my finger. Looks really nice. Um, eh, take it from my finger. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, I'm so happy. They're really pretty. Look at those. I think those two, and actually the mermaid dust as well would be really cool for us. Actually, the whole four of them. This one is lovely, greenish blue. And the gold, look at the gold. It's so beautiful. Let's look at the white background now. <laughs> so much sparkle, makes me happy. Oh. Very pretty. So those are the six uh, of the coarse glitter paints from Art Spirits, the Art Spirits on Etsy. I will put the link to the shop in the description. So I think there are two more colors which I didn't get because I haven't got that one, Queen of Hearts and Ruby Slipper, which might be the next one I get because they're just so beautiful. And the purpose for this one, what I wanted them for, is to put the sparkle glaze over some other coloring. So something that has been colored, just put the glaze over it to add the sparkle bit like stickles but like i said stickles i mean i use it but it's not it's not my most favorite i would rather use the watercolors really happy with it so so yeah so those are my sparkly sparkly paints and you will probably see at least one of them over some snow that i am going to color over there next weeks really because we just at the beginning of winter really so i intend to lot, um, color a lot of snow and that will come in so handy so i hope you enjoy them um and i will see you shortly bye <music>